to Backyard Science with Sci-Fi. My name is Katie, this is my partner Kendall, and we have a special guest today, the cookie master, David. Did somebody say cookies? So you don't have to go to a lab to study chemical reactions. There are so many everyday chemical reactions that occur all around us, even in our kitchens while we're baking. Today, we are going to be using a handwritten chocolate chip cookie recipe from my grandma. And this recipe is unique as it cooks at 375 degrees to allow us to observe the reaction of caramelization. The ingredients that you'll need to make these chocolate chip cookies are baking soda, flour, butter, sugar, shortening, vanilla, brown sugar, eggs, chocolate chips, and salt. You are going to need two-thirds of a cup of shortening, one cup of sugar, one cup of brown sugar, you'll need two teaspoons of vanilla, and two-thirds of a cup of butter. You will also need two eggs. Now we are going to add our dry ingredients. We're going to use two and a half cups of flour, and to that flour we're going to add one teaspoon of baking soda. You're also going to need half a teaspoon of salt. Next, we're going to add our wet ingredients and dry ingredients together. We might need some help from our cookie master, David. So now we're going to mix the two mixtures together until everything is nice and blended. And finally, we will dump in two cups of chocolate chips and mix those in nicely. Caramelization occurs between 356 to 390 degrees Fahrenheit. Caramelization is caused by heat triggering oxidation in the sugars, which simply amounts to the amount of sugar degrading into simpler forms. Oxidation is when the molecule loses electrons. With this loss of electrons, the sugar molecule is able to break down into its component parts, glucose and fructose, which are simple sugar units called monomers. Monomers add a rich caramel smell to your cookies and a nutty taste, even though there are no nuts in this recipe. Around 310 degrees, the Maillard reaction occurs, as proteins from the eggs and sugars break down and reform in a way that produces the beautiful brown color we associate with foods like cookies, hamburger buns, and Christmas turkeys. Most recipes call for you to bake your cookies at 350 degrees, and caramelization requires at least 356 degrees. So if you want to try adding those caramel undertones, try bumping up the heat and cooking the cookies for less time to account for the change in temperature. Are they done yet? Actually, we have to wait 10 to 12 minutes before our cookies will be ready to eat. Ooh, cookie dough. Careful, dough with raw eggs can make you sick. This recipe uses baking soda as a leavening agent, also called sodium bicarbonate. As the butter or shortening melts and releases water, the sodium bicarbonate is able to mix with the acetic acid released by the brown sugar. This reaction produces bubbles of carbon dioxide gas, which cause the cookies to rise. Thanks for watching. Comment down below what your favorite cookie is. And give the bell a ringle dingle. And like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.